Hi, I'm Taryn, and I'm the host of Most Fashionable Crime, a fashion-related true crime podcast. And on this YouTube channel, you will see more deep dives into topics that I discuss on the podcast. This is the last episode of the first season, and I am so excited and so grateful for everyone's support and love that everyone has shown me throughout this time. So I want to start by saying thank you. Make sure you check out the description box for all information regarding the website, newsletter, and how to listen to Most Fashionable Crime. And be sure to subscribe to this channel as well and wherever you listen to your podcast. And also like this video and leave a comment for more. This week's video, I am talking about stolen fashion designs. And of course, in the United States, if you're unfamiliar, does not have a lot of protections for intellectual property as it pertains to fashion. But I talk more about that in the podcast and hopefully there will be some changes in the future that could really help people. I mentioned references in the podcast at the beginning, but I'm going to go more into that topic in this video. So a reference in fashion design is drawing inspiration from another work of art, whether that be another fashion design, a painting, a sculpture, a tree, something that is what you consider a reference. A reference as it pertains to fashion design and in this case is when you reference a design that was created by someone else. So a reference could be within the same house. So say a new designer takes reference from the designer that was previously at the same label. That could be a reference or a designer like an independent designer can take a reference from an established designer that could be considered a reference as well. And there is a difference between a reference and a copycat. I feel like nowadays people don't really understand the difference between a reference and a copycat because there has been a theme within the fashion industry of labeling anything that's similar a copycat. I feel like there has to be, for something to not be seen as a copycat, there has to be degrees of separation. So that doesn't mean that someone put down a mini skirt with pleats down the runway and then another designer did it. That doesn't mean that's a copycat because I mean, that's a basic design almost. A copycat would be taking the exact same design that you see from one designer and then seeing it very closely next to another designer. So we see this a lot. We see a lot of copycats when it comes to fast fashion. So that might be Fashion Nova, Shein, Zara, where they try to take independent designers and runway designers and copy their looks scene for scene. So we see that a lot. For an example of a reference, in 1966, Yusei Laurent designed the Le Smoking jacket. So this was innovative. It was a suit for women that was sexy, strong, and very feminine at the same time. So this was very innovative. So you might see that reference with other designers that create suits for women. So that would be a reference, it's not a copy. In the podcast, I made the case of Dee Blue Dazzled in Good American. So Dee Blue Dazzled, designed by Destiny Blue, she referenced Britney Spears, the cat suit that was nude and crystallized in the toxic music video. That was her reference for the bodysuit that she designed. So that is a reference. So she created a design using that as the reference. On the other end, Khloe Kardashian, with the help of her assistants and stylists, bought one of everything that was on the Deep Blue Dazzled website, including that bodysuit. And then the Good American popped up with that bodysuit and sold it as a design on their end. So from what we know and what I talked about in the podcast, the way I see it as Good American used Destiny Blue's design work references and just basically copied her work and so therefore, because they copied D Blue Dazzle's work and not using the references that they claim to have used Britney, Cher, Diana Ross, they essentially used the D Blue Dazzle design as a copycat. And I explain more about that in the podcast. So there is definitely a difference between a reference and a copycat. What you'll see a lot of times when it comes to actual designers is that they will use references in the fast fashion and not as heavy design labels basically copy the work of the people that are actually doing their own research and looking to their own references. So I think overall within the fashion industry and fashion enthusiasts, we have to understand the difference between a reference and a copycat. And a part of that is to get better at referencing something without copying too many details of it. So a way that you can do that is if you find inspiration in something, take the time to develop your own interpretation of it. Sleep on it. Don't go at it for word for word. Don't stare at it 
too hard, just kind of come up with your own rendition of it. Okay, so even still with copycat designs, they are really hurting a lot of small and independent designers because of the fast fashion life cycle is so quick. So despite these designers probably spending months, maybe even years on the design, it just gets ripped straight off the bat. But the kind of plus side of it is that the people that want the good thought out good quality designs are not going to go to the fast fashion but it does suck because the fast fashion they're going to make thousands if not millions on the design that this person worked so hard on and that is horrible it's awful it's hurtful so when it comes to that i really feel as someone that's an independent designer and that is working on launching their own label hopefully next year i feel like it's very disheartening to see these fast fashion labels take such advantage of independent designers which i'm not saying like oh only go after the high-end designers it sucks for everyone all around but when you rip off people that don't have as much funding don't have the backing and then all of a sudden their product is just ripped from them that's really that's really sad to see in other countries there are more laws to protect fashion designs i hope there will be something in the united states that will help designers, especially small independent designers as well. I know it can be tricky when it's, okay, so what is a reference versus what is a copycat? And yeah, so I hope there will be some changes to that because I think it will really help. So I hope that helps you understand further what the difference between a reference and a copycat design is. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Please stay tuned for more. I will be releasing bonus episodes in December and January and the new season will be launched in February. So make sure that you stay up to date. I am on Twitter. Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And I also have discussion groups on Reddit and Facebook. The Facebook one is probably the most active. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much.